It's okay, bro. I know you guys are always interested in seeing my face, so I decided to do a live, you know. Um, just to enlighten you guys, right? Um, join the live. If you haven't joined the live, you'll stream this video later on, on, our, on our official YouTube channel. Before I continue, please do subscribe to my YouTube channel. We are on 2,500 subscribers, and I'm hoping that it goes even further. So please subscribe. Do drop your comments. Do drop your input. Do follow us on Facebook at SamMasterZ8. Please do follow us on TikTok as well. Follow us on Instagram, SamMasterZ8, guys. Thank you very much for the continuous support. So, guys, most of you guys got your results, I think, last week, Friday, and you're probably asking yourself if it's a great idea to upgrade or not. So, I'm here to enlighten you so that you can know what to do, okay? I always come to your rescue, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, don't worry about my face. I always look scared. You guys are used to me. Yes. So, uh, let's talk about um, upgrading, right? Yeah, let's talk about upgrading. So guys, I, I, I discourage upgrading. I discourage upgrading. Why upgrading happens when it happens in June. Eh? It's only for those that um, just wrote their metric exam. So if you wrote it two years ago, you don't qualify for an upgrade, right? So to those that are saying they're going to upgrade in June, what's the rush? Because it's not going to change anything. So it's better you do it in November. So the disadvantages, disadvantages that I know that revolve around upgrading is that when you upgrade, um the test or the exam is very very difficult it is very 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 difficult for you to handle you understand so when you're upgrading you are basically telling the examiners of the november paper that way now you think you can do better in the second paper you understand so the paper is very very difficult and they are very strict when they're making an upgrade paper why are they very strict because you are repeating for the second time they are angry because they are taking their time their resources and their money to remark or to mark a paper for June when they have a November examination that's coming. So you're not going to be a priority. They can even drop you marks if possible because you are not a priority. Their priority is the current matriculant of that year. Grade is very, very difficult. And number three, about I don't have, um, what's this? There's this thing, what's this thing called now? Um, it's will mark or what? It's not will mark, but they call it in a, it's in a certain way. You know, those marks that you get for getting, if, even if your method is correct, but your answer is wrong, everything is wrong. Do you understand what I'm saying? So, you can understand the concept, get it draw correct, but once you get one thing wrong, everything is wrong there. They don't forgive you. So, most of you guys, when they were marking your November papers, they did you favors, they give you extra marks. So, this time, when you're upgrading, there's no extra mark, guys. You are on your own. You must get everything perfectly, so you must write it exactly as it is on the memo. If it's not exactly as it is on the memo, and then that's a problem, guys. That's a problem. They are going to uh, penalize you zero out of four or zero out of five. They don't care about your method. So upgrading, I really discourage upgrading because of those two, uh, those four things that I just mentioned. And another thing about upgrading is that they take marks from your SPA. So let's just say you got thirty for maths in term one, grade twelve, thirty for maths term two, thirty for maths term three, and you get thirty in your final. Right? Your SPA is a combination of your term one, term two, and term three. Right, and they convert it to 25%. So if you have nine, eight out of 25%, you're gonna carry down that eight until for the next five years. So that eight follows you everywhere you're going. Everywhere you go, it follows you. That eight. Right? So if you get maybe out of 150, you get uh 120, and then out of another 150, you get 110. That eight still applies. So that 25% still applies, which is why most people, when they upgrade, they fail to get distinctions. But people who are rewriting get better marks. Another reason is that upgrade is so short notice, guys. There's no way you can prepare for a, for, for a large exam within four months. Even though I know some people will say, I still remember most of the things. But no, guys. You have to sit down, recover, get new learning techniques, practice, practice, practice. So four months in May, you are writing already. You're going to do the same silly mistake. You have to recover for the whole year everything that you missed out last year and make sure that you get, you know, your houses in order. So I don't encourage an upgrade because it's short notice. Right? And then now we have a rewrite. Rewrite, yes. Why a rewrite? A rewrite, guys, the, the examination is not difficult. Why? Because you are you are writing with the current year's metric. So you are writing with those metric that are writing this year. Right? So when you're writing with them, the difficulty of the paper is, is, is the same as the difficulty on their paper. You guys are writing the same paper, so it's going to be much more easier than the upgrade paper. Because upgrade, they know that it's someone who's repeating. It's going to be difficult. By the November one, they're also considering the learners that are at schools that are doing a trick. So it's a bit easier for you. 
So a rewrite is very, very easy, number one. Number two, you get more time, like 10 months to prepare for that compared to four months to, co to prepare for a maths paper. It's more time. So a rewrite is the best way to go because you get time to find yourself, okay? So another, uh, another reason why I prepare a rewrite is that I've seen this, that in most cases, learners that are great get the same mark and those who rewrite get higher marks. You understand what I'm saying? So guys, uh, I discourage upgrading. I encourage rewriting. Only upgrade if you last did matric in the last five years. Otherwise, if you just did matric last year, go and rewrite. Yeah. Now there's another point that I wanna uh, I wanna emphasize. Ne? Just because you're upgrading, okay, rewriting, it doesn't mean you're not gonna go to college. Now nah, you can take that course that you're doing at college or university and still upgrade on the side. Just to fix your statement, guys. What you your children say. Mm. So guys, rewrite. Don't upgrade. Please. Should notice things don't work. They just don't really work. And you're gonna regret it because you're gonna upgrade to get lower marks. And then those of the ones that are gonna be writing at the end of the year are gonna get higher marks. And you're gonna be like, shit, I should have just, you know, I should have done the, 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 the rewrite. Okay. So guys, you can still do an, a rewrite or an upgrade while you're at an institution and you're learning. So you're not losing anything, guys. Okay. Yes. So if there's any questions, guys, you'll drop them on the comment box because I'm going to upload this video on my YouTube channel. Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. Sign Masters does offer a upgrading classes, now. 300 rands per month uh, until November. If you're upgrading in June, yeah. Until me, you pay, you pay, you pay. We teach you everything. It'll be up to you if you, you know, we do offer upgrade classes or rewrite classes. And we help you even with the admin of getting. So when you're writing with Sci Masters, you know, you, you're not going to be um, writing with the other learners at the Department of Education, but we want to get you a private venue and register you there. Yes, I think I'm towards the end of this video. Oh, uh, another thing. Yeah. I apply for you at all of those institutions just for 50 rands. You understand what I'm saying? So you can just hit me up 0814485811. And yeah, we can do it. I've already done that for like three people already since yesterday. So if you are keen on me to do it for you, uh, colleges in Johannesburg that are NSFAS accredited, you can just hit me up and then I do it for you quick. You know, remember my number is 0814485811. Then we can do those applications for you. It's 50 rand and then I apply at all of them, the ones that you choose or that particular region that you want me to apply at. Yeah. And only those that are open. So I cannot do magic, guys. Yeah. If late applications are open at U UJ, I'll do them for you. And I'm not saying you want to be accepted. I'm just doing, I'm just saving you a whole pile of work. You understand what I'm saying? A whole lot of admin because you are stressed right? and you understand. And all these colleges that might take you. That's what I do, right? So thank you very much for listening. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like the videos and comment and all those kind of things from me, your boy, K-Pro. I'm out, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. Congratulations to those that were accepted. Congratulations that, to those that made it to college. Congratulations to those that got distinctions. By the way, one of my learners, is it, I forgot her name again, it's Gavinda. Yeah, she got 79% for English. You know, she was a Sci Masterian. Most of them got 60s as well, 68, 69, 70 something, 71, 77. I did a great job in terms of English, even though I failed to produce a distinction for my learners, but at least a 79% was something. Probably this year I will produce those distinctions because even this year I'm doing more on maths and physics. So hopefully uh, I, I will produce distinctions for maths and physics this year for my learners. So thank you, thank you very much, guys. Man. Have a, a, a wonderful day. Thank you. I'm out. Thank mm -hmm. you.